Canyon, North Canyon Trail Road, whatever. Um, we're very close to the state line, just across Tahoe's California. But uh, doing some winter camping, and it's just way warmer. I think it's about three miles in here, and uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's peaceful. It's quiet. There's nobody here really, and we're gonna head. We're gonna head to the backcountry. Sorry for the delay in posting this next video. We finally moved to Reno, Nevada, where we are minutes from National Forest, from trailheads, about 35 minutes to Lake Tahoe, and three hours from Yosemite. The possibilities for outdoor and filming stuff is just endless. So I'm super excited to be in this area now and back into the groove of getting videos out regularly. I'm about to head out to Lake Tahoe, Nevada State Park, which is about 45 minutes away. There's several different areas, but I'm going specifically to the Spooner Lake backcountry area, which is open year round. And locals take note, if you're headed to Lake Tahoe area, the state parks are closed to non-locals. You cannot drive into the state park. Only locals are allowed to walk into the state park. That is not the case on the Nevada side, so that is partially why I picked this side also. It's just closer. Uh, so yeah, I'm headed to Lake Tahoe, Nevada State Park. Gonna go into the backcountry and I'm expecting snow. It's actually gonna be pretty warm this weekend. But yeah, I'm really excited to, for my first camping trip here in this area. And we are taking no big equipment. I'm only shooting with the A6600, a few shots with my iPhone 12, and then of course the DJI Mini 2. Just a note, also national forests do remain open in California and in Tahoe. Those are federal lands. I'm also gonna be doing a in more in-depth video on these filters I'm taking with me, the uh, Freewell All Day Filter Pack. This is a pack of eight filters. It's got three dedicated ND filters. One of them I have on the drone already. Um, you have three dedicated ND filters, an ND, sorry, a, a dedicated circular polarizer, and then four combination ND and polarizer filters. So I'm really excited to try these out. I'm gonna do a more detailed video on these and the footage from these. Um, you'll see some of it in here, but I'm gonna do a longer one just on these and give you my thoughts. So I'm excited, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking as well. All the products I use, including backpacking gear, all the gear that I use in this video, I'll put links below so you can check that out and use those. It helps out my channel a ton. And thanks for watching. Thanks to those of you who use, have used those links. And uh, yeah, let's go into the backcountry. Probably, probably a quarter of a mile down the trail, if that. It's beautiful. But uh, as I was driving in, I noticed um, probably 10 miles back, five miles back, there were signs that said, uh, smoke area, uh, do not report. And um, then a little farther down, I saw some signs that said prescribed burn, do not report. And uh, it's a little bit smoky here. And I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna look like tonight. I doubt that the fire, I think it's up to the northeast-ish. I doubt that the fire's coming over this way because this is a state park. Um, and there's buildings throughout here. And, uh, but there might be a little bit of smoke tonight. Uh, it's a little bit smoky in here right now. Not too bad, but. Uh, you know, definitely gonna watch out.
January 14th and it's 40, when I left the trailhead, it was 48 degrees at 6,500 feet. Um, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful evening. So I am out here in the back country. It's really peaceful. Uh, I did just about 12 feet over that way is a pile of bear poop. And I'm pretty sure it's maybe two days old. Um, so I think bears are active in this area. Thankfully, I'm really not that far into the back country. Um, also, I came prepared uh, with all my sealed, my bear bag, all this, all the stuff. Um, but yeah, out here and tonight, this episode is going to be all filmed on, mostly filmed on the Sony A6600. Um, mostly because I didn't want to drag my black magic out this time. Uh, but also, I'm really excited to try out these Freewell ND and Circular Polarizer filters on the DJI Mini 2. So I'm going to shoot some out here in the National Forest. I'm also going to go down to Tahoe in the morning, get some shots, and see how it does with the water reflecting and the colors and, and the sunrise. So let's take a look at that. I'm just going to set up camp real quick and uh, turn in, probably read for a bit. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it's... It's going to be so warm. It's going to be perfect tonight. The spot that I'm at right now has very little snow. There's definitely snow around. There's definitely a lot of snow around, uh, but I found a nice dry area and it looks like there's been some logging in this area. Um, but yeah, just beautiful evening. Absolutely beautiful sunset. And uh, I'm excited to spend the night out here. Wake up to a beautiful sunrise. Um, man, it's like six o'clock. No, 6.30? No, 6. It's like 6 o'clock. And it's dark. And... I'm gonna read. I'm gonna write in my uh, trail log journal, too. I'm really excited to get some drone footage tomorrow with the DJI Mini 2. here you can see there's no snow outside my tent I actually slept really well <clears throat> the sun's about to come up I'm gonna try and fly the drone I'm gonna clean up clean up my mess in here <sighs> heard some funky noises last night not anything crazy something I just couldn't identify a few of them but uh I slept really well, so I didn't even, I just slept straight through it. And most of the time it's just nothing anyway. But let's pack up. Had a great night. The uh, it wasn't too cold. It was nice and warm. Um, 
this really quiet. I'm just off, I stepped off the trail onto a logging road and then a few hundred yards off the logging road. Um, you know, so I probably have a quarter of, the, quarter of a mile to the trail. And apparently this morning, the structural integrity of my jeans was compromised and I ripped a massive hole in the back end of them. So I will be going straight to the car and straight home. But I'm really excited about some of these drone shots right, right now. The clouds rolled in. Uh, so it's not really that awesome. The lighting isn't great. Uh, but some of these shots from the sunrise are perfect and hopefully it'll clear up a little bit more. I can head out, down to Tahoe. But uh, yeah, excited about these shots, but let's pack up the tent and go home. super happy with these filters. I'm super happy with my iPhone 12 footage. And, you know, I think for a quick overnight, not taking a lot of gear, this was a great setup. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing another video specifically on this drone footage and these filters. And I mentioned a while ago about a Patreon. I'm actually about to get started on launching that Patreon. For those of you who are interested in a more of a mentorship program. I'm gonna have a dedicated phone line. I'm gonna have, I have my cell phone, but I'm gonna actually have another cell phone with a dedicated number for those Patreons who would like one-on-one -on -one consultation or mentorship into the video world, into editing, backpacking, filming, outdoors, you name it. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna have links going soon. Uh, and I'm excited to offer you guys some one-on-one -on -one direction and mentorship into the world of videography and cinematography and what gear you should use and, and just personal recommendations for your situation. So be on the lookout. Again, thanks for watching and check out the links below. I will see you.